you are going to undergo changes which are not just physical but are also emotional and mental. We will see in different parts of the subsequent videos how to tackle and recognize red flags and problem areas in each of these recovery processes. But let's begin by talking about the first 24 hours after you've had your cesarean section. In the first 24 hours, the most important thing that you will be feeling is the pain. That's perhaps the most important thing that you're worried about and scared of as well, isn't it? So let me give you the good news first, which is that in the first four to six hours, because of the effect of the spinal anesthesia that has been given to you uh, after, uh, for the caesarean section, you will not or you may not feel a lot of pain immediately after the caesarean section. At that point, you will also feel that you are immobile or that you are not able to move your lower extremities, especially your legs, your feet, etc. And that if you're not prepared for it might give you a little bit of anxiety it's important to note at this point that this is absolutely normal it takes about four to six hours for the effects of the spinal anesthesia to wear off after which you will be able to start moving your legs your feet and start feeling sensations from the lower part of your body but at the same time also the pain will start to increase the pain which is arising not only from the scar or not only from the cut that has been made on your belly but the pain which is also going to be coming out from the uterus starting to contract and go back to its original size and shape slowly. There's also going to be bleeding through the vagina. This would be similar but a little heavier than your normal period bleeding and eventually in a period of one week to 10 days this bleeding should slowly settle down it's also important and you also probably know that that you're not going to be allowed to eat or drink anything orally or by your mouth till your doctor checks you and lets you know when is it that you will be allowed to eat or drink again please wait for the go ahead from your doctor before you start eating or drinking anything you also will be having a urinary catheter in place. This is a small yellow tube which is connected to a bag that contains the drained urine from your urinary bladder. Again, this would normally be in place till you are able to ambulate or till you are able to move about, move at least till the bathroom and back. Breastfeeding is another area where a lot of women have confusion soon after a cesarean section. Many feel that they should not feed, feed their baby uh, in the first few days after having had a cesarean section. However, this is a misconception and this is a myth. All women, whether they've had a C-section or a normal birth, must start breastfeeding their child as soon as possible. In case of a cesarean section, as soon as a woman is comfortable and desires to feed her baby, she should be given all the encouragement and the support so that she can feed her baby and start the journey of breastfeeding in a positive direction. In all of this, I want all the women to remember one thing, that cesarean section is a major surgery and that they should prioritize and focus on their recovery their health as much as they are focusing on the babies. It's very easy to get carried away in all the excitement of the newborn. However, it's also very important to take care of yourself. So take care of yourself and we'll meet another time with another episode talking about recovery after a cesarean section. Goodbye people. If you like this video, Make sure you like, subscribe and importantly, share it with people who you think will benefit from this. Thank you.